Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexa. Today I am back with a very special video. In this little amount of time I've been talking, have you noticed anything different about me? Besides that I'm wearing makeup. Nothing? I know you see something. Yes. You guessed it. I got my hair cut. Guys, these results are bomb. Look at this definition. Look at this definition. I'm just gonna share a little bit more about my experience getting my hair cut. So, if you are still interested, just keep watching and we are gonna go through it all. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned it in my other videos, but on my Instagram I was saying that I want to get my hair cut again. And I did. So this is my third official cut. The first time I got my hair cut was a diva cut. That was just to start my transitioning period. The second time I got my hair cut was last year, August 2018. And that was basically to cut off all the dead ends completely and start fresh. I had my hair shaped from that point on and my hair was super short. So the first time I cut my hair, it was a diva cut and it was March 2018. And that's when I first started my natural hair journey. At that point, when I went to the salon, I didn't really know much of what I wanted. I just knew that my hair wasn't looking how it should be. And I didn't feel good about myself. So I just went in wanting to cut my hair. But when I got in the chair, we went over stuff. I didn't completely cut all my dead ends because I was so worried about my length. Fast forward, August 2018 is when I got my second curly cut. I went to a different salon and I had my hair shaped and completely cut off everything that was not needed and unnecessary. All the dead pieces all the damaged hair gone so when my hair was cut it looked short but when I washed it the first time my hair shrunk up I couldn't believe how short it looked from August 2018 up until now October 2019 I did not cut my hair I would snip the ends here and there if I found some straggling pieces but that was about it I was originally going to go back for my third cut in February of 2019 but I was late for that appointment and then had to reschedule and I never rescheduled until now and this was luck because every day that I was off he had no appointments or was completely booked and every day that I worked he had open slots i was like i'm never gonna get my hair cut so this opened up this saturday first appointment and i went so when i got this appointment i went in knowing what i wanted already which was basically just to have my hair reshaped because my bangs grew out down to basically here everything basically grew out obviously it was a very long time and my hair started getting very knotted, fairy knots everywhere, drier, it wasn't retaining as much moisture from products, and it was looking dull. Comment down below how you know when it's time to get a haircut. What does your hair do? Does it get dry? Does it get tangled easily? Does it look any different? Does it feel different? So just let me know down below because everyone has different symptoms in a way, and I'd like to know yours. So now you guys know how I feel about the back of my head. Till you see the message. So I taped a couple clips while I was at the salon. I taped a couple clips at the salon, and now we're about to show you some action. Here we go.
So that is how I achieve these fabulous results. So unfortunately, that brings us to an end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all the footage I collected and felt like you were on this journey with me getting my hair cut. If somebody would have told me a year ago that my hair could look like this, I would not believe them. So I'm happy that I'm on this hair journey and I'm happy to be sharing all of this with you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you know when I'm uploading my next video. All right guys, I had to hop back in here and show you my day six hair. What you saw was when I was straight out the salon and I'm like shook. So usually when I've gotten to this point, like day five, day six hair, it's like, eh, like it's, it's impressive because it lasted that long, but there's so much frizz, not much definition left. So basically it's like, it's time for a bun and I gotta slick everything together. But y'all, check this hair out. Nothing about this hair needs to be put in a bun or any updo, like it needs to stay out. Like there's definition, there's still shine, minimal frizz and I say minimal because I know my hair and it gets very frizzy so this cut did me wonders and I definitely should not be waiting a whole year and some months to get my hair cut in between like I should probably follow up like every six months now y'all check this back out I know you see this 